Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here again with another episode of my Out of the Park 1994 White Sox playthrough. And today what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at where we are right now in the playthrough and uh we're gonna simulate a couple of series maybe a few series maybe i don't know as many as i care to do and then we're gonna see where we are after those series are simmed now uh the standings for the central division which is where the white Sox are right now uh, is on your screen, and you can see I am 26 and 23, and in third place in the division, three games out of first behind the Indians and the Brewers. Um, of those 49 games, now I want to also say, most most people that post uh, their um, out of the park stuff are general managers of their teams, building their teams through season after season, simulating and trading and doing that. I'm not the general manager of the team. I actually like the aspect of playing the games and being the manager of the team. And I like having the pressure of building a good team be on the AI or the AI GM. So there is an AI GM for this team. He provides all the players that I have. He goes out, he makes the trades. He uh, brings players up and sends players down. And sometimes it's frustrating, the guys that he decides to send down and bring up. But that's his prerogative because he's the GM and I'm not. So I am the manager of the team, and we are in the third season. This is the 1994 White Sox playthrough. And in that respect, we will take a look at my history. Now, in 1994, we actually, and let me put myself down here. In 1994, we actually went to the World Series, and we lost in seven games to the Astros. I had a score of 721 that year, um, and we were 89 and 73. Last season, which was the 1995 season, I was 81 and 81. 500 right down the middle. We batted 262 as a team and had a 474 team earned run average. And as you can see, so far this year, we are 26 and 23. Three games over 500. I always get to three games over, and then I just can't seem to hit that hump and get it over, you know, get it to four or five or six games over 500. Just can't seem to do it. But anyway, so that gives me a total lifetime record right now of 196 and 177 as the manager of the White Sox in the third season of our 1994 White Sox playthrough. We'll take a quick look at the Major League standings. And there you go. There's the entire standings board. And I'll put myself up here now. Um, so you can see the standings for the entire league. We, uh, as I said, third place in the AL Central, 26 and 23. And uh, three games ahead of the Royals, but a uh, game and a half behind the Brewers in second place. And so, with that, all of that out of the way, we'll go to the manager's office, and you can see we have a series coming up against the Blue Jays. So, uh, I will... The Blue Jays take on the fin is in sixth. Yeah, I, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, my phone was um, chiming in. Um, we will take a look at the team schedule. And you can see we're right here, um, about to start the series against the Blue Jays on the 27th, 28th, and 29th of, what is this month? May. So we are a little ahead of where we are in real life. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
pick a day on the schedule to play to, and then we're going to see where we are. Uh, I'll get all the way through the, let's, let's play to the off day of Monday, the 3rd of June. And I do want to play to the selected date. We'll see what happens. I got a personal message. We have some players sent down, some players brought up. Now, Willie Blair, I want to, I want to talk about Willie Blair. I have, <laughs> I've been managing this season. And I, I want to say of the 49 games that we had played coming into this sim, um, I probably actually managed the team played the games in 40 of the 49 games and he keeps he willie blair is his personal yo-yo pitcher he sends him down he brings him up he sends him down he brings him up he sends him down he brings him up willie blair is i mean he, that dude has got to have some serious uh travel travel miles log between charlotte and uh and the uh and the white Sox. So, um, anyway, let's take a look at some of, uh, the news items. The Giants are going to trade Will Clark or won't they? It's hard. Uh, it's a hard decision for any general manager. Well, all right. That's a rumor, but they're not, it doesn't say they did. Uh, let's see here. Rafael Palmero news, player transaction news. Okay, so let's see where we are. We we haven't even gotten through what I wanted to do initially, the, the, the games that I wanted to play to. So let's, again, try to get to that date. Todd Pratt was diagnosed with a strained hip muscle. He will be out for about four weeks. All right, so... Let's, uh, yeah, let's review the depth chart and everything else here. All right, so uh, our lineup versus righty with a DH, which is what we would be doing. Um, all right, Robin Ventura is back. Now, he's back from a, uh, he had a, uh, he had a groin issue. So we're going to put him back in the lineup. And he will be the third baseman. And now we need another, we need a catcher. And I guess Ron Karkovice will be the main catcher. And then we go here. And again, Ventura will be the third baseman. And um, Karkovice will be the, the primary catcher. Now, Karkovice not really having a good year. You can see he is hitting 075. So, but Jim Weaver, I've had him up before. He's not a good hitter either. So let's take a look at Jim Weaver. Yeah, th there's not a lot of good there. <laughs> he's a uh, terrible speed, terrible stealing, terrible base running. He can bunt for a sacrifice bunt, and everything else is bad. So, and also, I want to also point out that, um, with this team, with the White Sox, so let's go to rosters and transactions. Let no, let's go to uh, lineups and depth chart. I think I fixed that. Let's go to, uh, uh, yeah, let's go to pitching. Make sure that that's in line. Okay. All right. So we are going to again try to sim to that off day right before the Boston series. And uh, yeah, okay. So, and you can see again, Willie Blair, that's his man. He likes to send him down. And we're going to uh, actually, I am going to, I'll start this game, but I'm going to, I'm going to simulate it and finish it. And game and simulate the game and let's see what happens here. All right, so we did win that game. So we'll leave the game here 
and uh, let's try to get again. Let's try to get to this off day. I, I hate when it interrupts me. I know there's a way to stop it from interrupting me. Um, let's try to get to the off day. I don't think he gave me anything that is really earth shattering news. Okay, let's see here. Player transaction, Ramirez, Jacks, three in the stands. Oakland, Billy Taylor is injured. All right, so, um, yeah, all right, so we're going to finish today. Okay, so now we are at that off day that I wanted to get to. And so let's take a look at our standings after that. Um, oh, no. All right, we're still in third. Now we're only two games back, and we're 30 and 26. We're four games over. We got to that elusive mark of four games over 500 at 30 and 26. So we are improving. We're getting better. That's a good sign. Let's try to get through the Boston series. So we'll simulate up to Friday. Suffered a day-to-day -day injury, viral infection, moderate effect. Recovery is expected to take four days. All right, so he's back on the DL, I'm supposing. Um, let's... Uh, Let's just simulate that. Um, okay, so we are back. We're up to the Orioles series now. So I will put myself down here. We will go take a look at the standings. All right, I'll put myself over here. Um, and we are now in second place. We're in second place, two games out. Maybe I should uh, <laughs> simulate the rest of the season because I seem to be doing better simulating than I was managing the team. Um, but we're 6-4 and four in our last 10. We're two games behind Cleveland and tied with the Brewers. Same record, 32-27. and 27. And... Um, yeah, let's see. and then uh, and we're playing Baltimore next, and they're thirty-seven and nineteen, leading the East. So, um, well, you know what? Since we're doing so well in the sim season, in the sim version of this, we're going to simulate through the uh, Baltimore games. And I think we just did that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. All right. And we are, uh, we dropped back a little bit. Yeah, we did. We dropped back massively. We're 32 and 30 now and three games back. And we're tied with Kansas City and Milwaukee. So the uh, Orioles, I guess, handed our ass to us on a plate. Um, hmm. So 62 games in, 32 and 30. Uh, let's simulate through the Boston series because Boston isn't that good. We'll get to the next off day. And we are 35 and 30. We're, we're back. We're back. <laughs> we must have spanked Boston. So we're now two game. We're in second place alone. Two games back of Cleveland at 35 and 30. Let's take a look at the. Uh, upcoming, well, you know, let's, yeah, we'll finish today. All right. So 35 and 30, two and a half games back of Cleveland and two and a half games in front of the Royals. So we are, we're doing a really nice job here. And we've got Seattle coming up. Seattle is worst in the West. So let's see if we can simulate through. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, but let's simulate these, the Seattle games. And uh, what does this say? McCaskill was diagnosed with an oblique strain. He'll be out for about six weeks. So I'm going to have to do something about that probably. Although he's probably replacing him on the roster. But anyway, let's go to... 
the standings. Well, wait a minute here. Yeah. Let's go to the standings. We're 36 and 32, four over, two and a half back of the Indians. And the important message is, yeah, Brad Steele and Kirk McCaskill has been, all right. So let me go to the, uh, let's go to the pitchers, the pitching staff, and see what we got. I mean, he was out in the bullpen, so yeah, as I expected. He wasn't in the rotation, so what I expected is they just replaced him in the bullpen, and now we have to. We have another guy out in the bullpen, probably, and that is Al Fifield. And let's go look at Al Fifield because he has been on the White Sox in past seasons. Um, you can see in '94 his White Sox record was six and two with a 6.64 earned run average, 33 games. He started one of them. In 95, last season, he was 0-0 zero and zero with an 11.57 earned run average. He, he was in five games and started none of them. And he has been on the team this year. And his record this year is 0-0 zero and zero with a 159 earned run average in five and two-thirds innings. So it's a small sample size. And his uh, interestingly, his, uh, his nickname is Cannonball. Yeah, well, the cannonball keeps blowing up on us. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, Al Fifield will be our. Uh, so let me go back. I'm gonna let's go back here and um, go to pitching staff, and we are going to make Fifield the the long man because that's what um that's what we had McCaskill as. So now it's going to be Fifield. And now we have the, uh, we got the Angels are up next. Go back to the standings and we can see the Angels are 31 and 37. So they're not very good. So we're going to, we're going to play the Angels series. I keep moving myself around accordingly. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You know what? Let's finish this, go through the Seattle series and then California again. Let's go to the next off day if we can get there. And hopefully it plays most of these games and it doesn't need my help. And it doesn't seem to. Todd Pratt has completed his IL time. Nice to hear. Okay, so um, we uh, probably have to, well, we got to review the rotation. Got a rotation issue? Hmm. Um, hmm. I guess I'm going to put Tommy Gilbert. Now, again, let's look at Tommy Gilbert. Tommy Gilbert has been on the team. In 94, he was 11 and 6 with a 402 earned run average and he had 22 starts. Last year, he was 0 and 0 for the White Sox on the big club with a 450 earned run average in 10 innings pitched. And he has not been on the team yet this year. So, we are going to We're going to put him in the rotation. I'm not even going to move Beret up because, you know, Beret isn't great anyway. So uh, as far as I know, and he hasn't pitched for us in 96, so he might actually be better now. But uh, we are going to keep trying. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're almost to that day. And uh, Griffey Jr. is going to be out for four weeks. Now, that's going to sting. That'll sting a little bit. And uh, we're going to finish today. And we received Mike Mark Lemke. Mark Lemke of, in real life, Atlanta Braves fame. And he is now going to be on the White Sox. That's, I guess, good news, although... What isn't good news is we don't have, um, yeah, I got to review my depth charts and my lineups and everything. So we are going to put Pratt back at catcher. That's one thing we want to do. I was playing Karkovice, but now that um, 
Pratt is back. We don't need to play Karkavice. And as you can see, Karkavice is hitting 173. So we really don't want to do that anyway. Um, Griffey Jr. was playing right field for us. So, you know, Lemke hasn't played yet. He's a switch hitter. Um, I'd, let's see what's, what's Grayback doing. Grayback is hitting 273. I'm not really ready to put, to slide Lemke in there because we don't know how he's going to be in out of the park baseball. And in fact, in real life, he wasn't anything to write home about. Um, but we need a new right fielder and, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put Darren Jackson in right field and we're going to move him up here in the batting order. And then here we're going to put in Darren Jackson again. Um, yeah, let's slide him down there and we're gonna, so let me see, uh, let's see, not only is a left hand batter, so against righties, yeah, we would want him. All right, so that looks like it's going to be our new lineup. And uh, we're going to finish today. And then let's go to the standings page. And we are in second place, two games out, 43 and 34. So I guess the moral of this story is I should not be managing this team. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, man, I didn't know I was that bad of a manager, but, uh, anyway, uh, we are 43 and 34, two games out and, uh, yeah, doing really well. And so I think going into the Indian series, that's going to be a key series. I am going to stop the video right there. I think that's going to be the end of our discussion and our, our games, but let's just take a look at the, uh, team schedule so um yeah we got a four game set against the indians and then that's going to go a long way towards determining our fate for this season and you're going to have to tune in to another video at a later time to find out how that got resolved and um we're not going to but we're not going to do that right here um, I'll probably manage the teams because I am the manager of this team. I mean, like it or not like it, I'm the manager of the team. So um, I really should be managing it. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.